NBA analyst Brad Doherty. Brad, in terms of big men, how has Nowitzki changed the game? Yeah, he totally transformed the position. Uh, you know, he's the guy, he's the original stretch four player that we see the prevalence of today. Anselon, cheers to him, and it was just yes. so nice to see everybody just so happy for him last Absolutely. night. Absolutely. Great score of the basketball, great player. and uh, one The Celtics taking on the Warriors tonight. They're looking for their third straight win without KD on the floor. What do you think has been the biggest difference for the Warriors playing without KD? Well, I think... Seem to have found their sweet spot prior to KD getting injured. Yeah. Now they're having to find that rhythm again. What's it like to be in a team that has to find that rhythm at this point of the season? This, this is really difficult, and the most difficult thing, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> All right, moving on to the Celtics playing the first time, for the first time since Isaiah Thomas expressed his frustration about some of Brad Stevens' coaching decisions. Brad, what can we expect to see from the Seas tonight? I see nothing wrong. With the insight here with us on Coast to Coast, you're sticking around, right? Yes, I right, will be promise? Here. I, you promise? I'm just like Ed. You know how to find us. <laughs> I will find you. I'm such a crew with the insight here with us on Coast to Coast. You're sticking around, right? Yes, I right, will promise? be here. I, promise? I'm just like Ed. You know how to find us. <laughs> I will find you. I'm such a crew. LeBron James and Kyrie Irving rested in the Miami Heat took advantage with a blowout win over the Cavs. It was the third game in four days and the second in a back-to-back. -back. LeBron now has sat five times this year and twice against Miami since he returned to the land. Stephen A., you got a problem with this? Yes, I do. I have the same problem. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Ocho Cinco. I'm always open. Yeah. But how come they didn't give him the ball? Why did they give it to Jordan? I'm wondering about the concussion protocol. Oh, there's that no such <laughs> What that guy <laughs> smacked his head. He said he's wobbly and dizzy. Jeez, Man. okay. Um, anyway, sorry. We're joined now by our uh, front office insider, Amino Hassan. So they're talking uh, a moment ago about Steph Curry and how he kind of got his groove back. Shout out to Stella. So two-time MVP, known for shooting well. But what else does he do on the court? Because I know that he gets a lot of slack when he's not, when he's not putting up the basket. Well, I, for me, yeah. Unequivocally, if Russell Westbrook is averaging a triple double, I'll vote for one Russell Westbrook. Good case that you just made. Um, we'll have you back in the noon hour to talk more about this. Tony, I'll send it back to you in Bristol. Thanks. Vote for one Russell Westbrook. Good case that you just made. Um, we'll have you back in the noon hour to talk more about this. Tony, I'll send it back to you in Bristol. Thanks. That's a lot. Let's what, keep this conversation uh -oh. going. What's with, impressive uh -oh. about it? It's a lot of picks. It gives you an opportunity. Wait, I, you're the analyst here, but this is my take on it. Yeah. It gives you a lot of options to, A, get some really good talent in a draft that evidently is pretty good, but also use those assets to get other things down the road as they well. They had 14 picks last year. But I'm saying, would you rather have 22 or, or 12? I'm, I'm just, no, I'm just. I, I'm it's ask, what you do with I'm the truth. So you think that's, that's, that's exactly business? how it That's real money. That ain't monopoly money. Right. They they swap picks, picks. but yeah. I mean, again. Yeah. You pay $16 million. Basically, yes. So you think that's, that's, that's exactly how business? it That's real money. That ain't monopoly money. Swap picks, but I mean, again. You pay $16 million. Basically, yes. One way or the other, they're going to get a quarterback. Their starting quarterback right now is probably not on the roster. All right, so when this happened yesterday and Twitter was blowing up about it, <laughs> the first thing that came to me is like... Are Something, though, with the reports from the Houston Chronicle that the Texans aren't going to try to make a trade with him, that they would, you know, be interested in him should he hit the free agent market. Do you think it is an indictment on, on what they think he could do for them? I, I don't think that. I just think that at this time... This time okay. Do you think it is an indictment on, on what they think he could do for them? I, I don't think that. I just think Leverage. that at this... Pick up <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll work on that. Ryan Rosillo is with us as well. You look at this game in particular... Um, um, so they had a seven-point lead heading into that fourth quarter. Then LeBron... Hunt goes off. I don't care who's out there. They're going to be a much less team, period, without him on the floor. But they got other all-stars. Like, these dudes are supposed to play too, though. Right, and I think this is part of the Kyrie... This one, they start uh, Taj Gibson in this one. I know you've been really critical of the ancillary pieces on yes. the Thunder needing to step up. What did you? It's a small sample size, but what did you make of the move? Oh, I think it's great. Oladipo has to be that second that's piece right. that can do that. I just don't really like him in the first round, as impressive as Westbrook has been. And that's why they got Oladipo to be that guy that helped Russ when everything's... Focused on him. Got to have that ball handler that can get to the front of the goal. That's who he is. Got to have it. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Appreciate you, Brad. Rasil and Canel today, one to four. I imagine on your show today, you'll talk about Tony Romo. Don't do it. I, I, I dare you not to I talk about Romo. 